You have learned that everything in the world that takes up space is made of matter. Well, the smallest part of all matter is made up of what scientists call atoms. To understand electricity, you need to understand atoms. Atoms are so small that you cannot see them. Each atom has three particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. Let's learn about these particles so that we can understand how electricity works. Atoms are so very small, but they contain three things. Protons, neutrons, and electrons, they are friends you see. They circle and they jump about, and some will make a fuss. They'll leave the atom and their friends and find another home, and fly off to another atom, for electrons like to roam. When an electron flies off to join another atom, it creates an imbalance of electrons in the two atoms. They can now push or pull other things in an action we call static electricity. The moving electron can also push or pull other things. Its moving is the thing we call electricity. I can make electrons jump with a small tooth comb. I'll take the comb and rub it on some carpet in my home. Electrons will have jumped upon the comb, so watch and see how my hair Electrons jump with a red balloon I'll blow it up and tie a knot Watch me as I stoop And rub it on the carpet Those electrons then will fly And when I place it on the wall My balloon will stick, oh my We have just learned about static electricity When you rub two things together You create friction Friction will make the electrons move from the carpet to the comb, or from the carpet to the balloon. Protons, neutrons, and electrons, they are friends you see. They are found in atoms, which make up everything. They help us understand all about electricity. Yes, protons, neutrons, and electrons are important.